I'll have it some squirrel bacon. It technically would be a clay oven. It would be a sure clay enough. oven. Sure enough. Do you want okay. some of my it's beef? Happening. Yes, please. I'll have a bit of that too if you want. Can I take one of those Can skewers the the to go? Around? Pass it up. You have something in, caught in your throat, Ford. Something's like a little bubble. No, you're Ford. You're not doing anything. You forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you trying to convince somebody of something again? I'm sorry to all of you. You caught on, and you've known me the longest. I haven't been entirely forthright with you. I. I sound like this. Well, yeah, I know. I know you know. What do you mean? Uh, Sometimes, all the time, really? Um, most of my life, yes, like this. What was that other thing you were doing? He was Vandran. What do you mean he was Vandran? My captain, Vandran, was a yeah. man of great renown and respect, and I wanted to emulate him. I wanted to be him. So you were talking like him? Yes. Well, I liked it. I thought it was fun. It was charming. I um, had a night, Caduceus will tell you. Um, had another dream, not. I'm sure you'll be thrilled. I am swordless today. Like I, you can't summon it or something? Mm, no, <laughs> and I'll try, try and summon it. <laughs> Nothing happens. I, um, I threw the sword into the liquid steel last night. Why? Because that was important, <laughs> wasn't it? Yes. I thought um, you loved that sword. Were you just over it, or? I talked to Jester just before we went to bed, and I said I felt like a change was needed, and I, I didn't like being a pawn or a puppet, and I didn't know where it was going to lead, and also, if that's the last key before this thing is unleashed, why not just destroy the fucking key? So I threw it in. Do you still feel like you have the balls inside you? <laughs> or are those gone too? Well, let's see, and I will try to make myself look like Caleb. Nothing. <gasps> what are you trying to do? Uh, let out a fart. <laughs> no. You're powerless? I think so. Nonsense, he's not powerless, he's just discovered a new power. It happened once before. I was having dreams of Ukutoa commanding me to return and to... <laughs> and to do things, and I c can't do that. But you said it came back before. It did. That was also without throwing the sword into a pool of lava, but yeah. He's going to be really but pissed. Real mad. Wait a second. So you're weaker than before mm. now? Uh, considerably, but I would do imagine. do you feel better? <laughs> I feel, I don't, I don't know. Do you feel? Pure, free, I feel cleansed? different. I feel less weight, and at the same time, a bit less valuable, rare, different, all of those things. And I know what you're going to say, I know that you would disagree, but I enjoyed the abilities that I had. Yeah, no, abilities are dope. Yeah. You've done something almost nobody here has done. You just, you, you changed. <laughs> That's amazing. May I ask a question? Why the choice to drop the accent? Is it? Was it tied to the sword? Or did you just feel the events <sighs> coincided? Everywhere Vandran went, he was heralded as a leader, respected, people quieted when he spoke without raising his voice. That was never quite the case when I talked. It was different. 
And the first time I adopted that speech and changed the way that I looked, everyone listened. Everyone was quiet. That felt better. So I figured no Vandran might as well fill that void. Maybe it would suit me, serve me. I think it did, for a while. Justice sent a message for me last night. Vandran seems to be just fine, not looking for me or searching out anything on his own. He seems to be at peace. That is not how I felt. I don't feel at peace. That seems wrong. If what we had was the key to a great horror, evil, burying it, hiding it, I think this thing would just point the next poor bloke that falls into the ocean in its direction, and he would or she would find it. So, lava, right? All your powers came from that sword? <clears throat> but let's find out. Um, I didn't have any before them. Put your hand out. Pull off Earth, a glove of blasting, and I start to pull it on. It's not an attunement. Okay. Yeah? Aim at the lava. Are any of the dusts awake? Uh, yes, they've been cooking, stretched. Woodland All right. Yes. Oh, right. They're making breakfast. Do you mind if I um, just? At this point, Jeremy turns and goes, uh, "Just if you don't mind, not you know, causing a huge racket or, or setting us all on fire, maybe." Yeah. I appreciate that. Do you have like a wall that's less important? It could take a little bit of, <laughs> like a little outside. That's fair. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's go punch a mountain. Well, don't I'll punch him. Walk out the tunnel just a little bit and see yeah, if I can fire. just shoot out the tunnel. The rays extend and blast into the side of the mountain. But that's the glove. Well, but it's on your hand, so you hold onto that. Where's that whip? Oh, here? Yeah. You have things that are more useful than this, but for now. I mean, you can also have my axe. Here, take this dagger. I have a shield as well. Dagger? Here. The whip, yeah. I give him the whip and the axe. Oh no. <laughs> I'll fit you. Producers, did you have that volume sword? No, he's having that. Uh, you ate it. it. He ate it. He ate it. He ate it. He ate it. That's right. <laughs> I do have a shield, though. If, uh, mm-hmm. I, this is more than enough. It's Please. really not. You're, yeah. you're, you're very weak. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, I, I appreciate it. I really do. Um, I don't have anything to give you other than drugs. <laughs> I don't need any it drugs. It could be. Actually, really. maybe like. If you, you do know. enough drugs, you'll think you're magic. Exactly. Maybe it'll open something. Well. 